Today I'm absolutely delighted to say that Tim and Aileen, who are the owners of Adventure Clydesdale, have been invited themselves really, <laughs> for us all to experience what it's like to be on a very rare breed of horse called a Clydesdale, who are housed just behind me. So perhaps, well, it like, doesn't matter uh, who's going to answer the question, where does this rare breed come from? Well, the, the Clydesdale heavy horse uh, originates in the Clyde Valley in Scotland. Um, it's not a very ancient breed, uh, back in the 17th century, late 17th century. And it was developed as a, as a breed for general agricultural use. Um, it was never the horse of knights. Um, and um, over the last couple of hundred years, they, they've been heavily involved in um, the agricultural world. Um, all over the world and they were exported to Canada, United States, Australia, South Africa and many other countries as well because they were such a good working yeah. horse. And, and you obviously both love them, so how did that come about? Where, where did you first come into contact with them? Me personally, I went riding with Tim when he was on Bodmin Moor down in Cornwall and uh, I just loved them so much I stayed on. Right, okay. Um, and they're just a lovely animal to be around. They're calming yeah. and they are a rare breed. So they're, on, they're vulnerable on the rare breed mm. list. So we try to encourage people to ride them so that they keep the breed going. And also a benefit to the person, of course, as you've mentioned about the calming influence, but Absolutely. also just the health is being outside, uh -huh. is doing some form of physical exercise as well. That's right, all, all of that. Um, they're very, their temperament is, is key, they're just so calm, um, lovely to be around, people just chill out. Okay, well, a pilgrimage that we are going to do now um, from St. Raphael's in Huckabee up to St. Gabriel's in Portbridge doesn't necessarily have to have a religious meaning. It can be families, it can be for historians, it can be for people who want to keep fit, and of course for well-behaved animals as well. <laughs> so, I, so one of the questions I've always wanted to ask is, and it's very difficult to answer, I realise, is do the horses actually enjoy it? I think the Clydesdale horse um, is particularly settled in its work. Um, they, they do tend to, they have a great work, work ethic. And I think that they do look forward to their rides out on the moor. It's, it's a, it's a, a sort of an adventure for them. And they, if you watch horses in, the, in their natural habitat, they are adventuring around all the time looking for new things. What about the people who are riding them? Do they actually enjoy being out there? What, what do they expect? Why are they signing up to come on an adventure with you and your horses? Well, I think their expectations are probably quite different than their experience for an awful lot of people. <laughs> because um, the impression is that the Clydesdale heavy horse and heavy horses generally are just going to be an old plod. Yeah. But what they discover is that the horses have much more about them than that. And that they're very much better on, on the very difficult terrain that, that um, they uh, need to encounter on Dartmoor. And that gives a lot of people a great deal of pleasure. Um, and, um, and changes their perception of the heavy horse. It's a very interesting word they use there about plodding because shortly I'm going to plod along <laughs> with you two and we'll have a chat as we go along down towards the East Dart River. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. yeah we can have that. a plod, but <laughs> you can also have I, I a, say a rather it, lively ride. <laughs> <laughs> I should mention to viewers that the crossing we're probably going to do is not one unless you can walk on water but there is a stepping <laughs> stones about half a mile further on so the horses are going to show how it's done before we get there yeah yes sure. okay
I started working with the Clydesdale Heavy Horses um, back about 20 years ago on the Isle of Skye. Um, riding with them was what, what we did. And um, we were constantly looking for a place where they would be able to show off their riding skills um, to, to people and prove that they are more than just a, an agricultural horse. Dartmoor has got all the ingredients to take people for a wonderful ride. Yeah. You've got the beautiful scenery, um, you've got interesting terrain, you've got quite good freedom of access and um, the horses can be really shown off here for what they, what they can be and, and it's just incomparable, an incomparable mix of, of beautiful things.